Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will see about how to connect the GitHub with SSH. So that means in the previous video, we have seen how to get the repository through HTTPS we have seen. Now we will see how to connect the GitHub with the SSH. So normally what we can tell is, normally we can connect to GitHub using two methods. That is nothing but using HTTPS what we have seen previously. So using git clone and the URL of the GitHub repository. And another one is the second process, the SSH. So the, through using this SSH also, we can connect the GitHub. So normally if you connect through HTTPS, what will happen is, every time when you are getting the data from the GitHub repository means, it will prompt you to ask user email and the password. It will prompt you always, it will tell you to give the email and the password to authenticate. So to know, to know that whether the person asking for the data is authenticated or not. So using HTTPS, so it is it will be always asking you with the email and the password every time you are doing some they're getting from data from the github but using ssh it will not be like that so it will it will uh, have a ssh key with the github and in your local computer so one private key will be stored in the local computer and you will be sharing the public key with the github account so that you it will be not asking you all the time with the username and the password so whenever you want to get the data from the github you can directly get the data okay let's try to let's try to see in this video how to set up this SSH key with the GitHub in your local computer. So now for this one, what we need to have is we need to have an account in the GitHub. So let's try to sign up. So here you can use the username and email address and the password. So you can create the sign up account. I already have an account. So let me log in. So Leela web dev. Okay. So I am logging it with the password. So I am logging in. So I am able to successfully log in. So this is our new account. So that is nothing but Leela web dev. You will be able to see. So now what we will try to do is. I already told you right. So when working with a GitHub repository. You will often need to identify yourself to GitHub using your username and the password. Same thing what I have discussed. So when always we are requesting for a GitHub repository means. It will ask you username and password. So an SSH key is an alternative way to identify yourself. That doesn't require you to enter your, your username and password every time. So this is the SSH key is an alternative way to identify. And another one using this SSH protocol you can connect and authenticate to remote servers, servers and services. With SSH keys you can connect to GitHub without supplying your username and personal access token at each visit. So this is the main thing you need to remember. So now to implement SSH, SSH keys in the system first we need to do we need to create the SSH key pair. So we need to create a SSH key pair. And then afterwards we need to add this SSH key to the SSH agent. So we need to ensure that SSH agent is running or not. So by typing this command. And we need to add that generated SSH key to the agent. And afterwards what will happen is. So that's it. So we can go to the GitHub profile. And we can add the SSH key pair in the settings. So that mutually it will understand. So your computer and the GitHub account. And you can check that we are authenticated or not using this GitHub. Okay. So now we let's try to set up this one. So from first onwards. So if you want to know me. So directly you can type something like GitHub SSH like this. Okay. So here you will be able to see the. This one. So now here what you can do connecting Git, connecting GitHub with the SSH. So first one. So now we will generate a new SSH. If you have already existing SSH keys means you can check it. Or otherwise you can generate a new SSH key and add it to the SSH agent if you, if you want to create a new one. So now I am in, as I am in the windows. So what I will be trying to do is I will be trying to use this windows only. So if you don't really have an SSH key in your computer. And if you are don't want to use the already existing SSH key and you want to create your own SSH key means. So we, we need to generate a new SSH key as we have already discussed. So now let's try to open the git bash. Okay let's try to open it. So here I will try to go like this. And here I will try to open git bash here. Okay. So I have opened the git bash. Now what I will try to do. So what is the thing it is saying. So let's try to open here. So it is telling that this type this command ssh keygen hyphen to hyphen c and the your email address. So we need to give our email address. So here let's try to paste it here and let's try to give the email address that is that we have registered. So I have registered github with using this leela web dev at the rate gmail.com okay so let's try to press enter so it will ask you that it will ask you that enter the file in which you want to save the key so it is trying to generate the ssh key and it save and it's trying to save it in a file 
it is telling that so if you want to mention any file name is you can mention it here or otherwise commonly what we will be trying to do is we will trying to save it with this file name only okay so let's try let's try to press enter so now it is so if you want to give the password first for that one you can give it or otherwise we can keep it empty so i am keeping it is uh, keeping it as empty only so now a key a password ssh key has been generated for you so next what we need to do so we have generated this ssh key fair now let's try to add ssh key to the ssh agent so now in order to see ssh agent we need to check that whether ssh agent is running or not so we can use this command to run the ssh agent so now let's type it here so you will be able to see that process id has been given that in which process id the ssh agent has been running 617 so fine let me clear out okay so now what we need to do we need to add the added created ssh pair to the ssh agent so this is the name we have not changed any name so if you have given your personal customized name means you need to mention the name it he name here we haven't created any name so we can directly copy this one and we can directly paste it here okay so i have pasted it here so press enter so i press enter so now it has been added into the c users lila narsima like this okay so ssh keyware has been added to the ssh agent now what we need to do so we need to we need to add it to the github account so let's open the github account so i am opening here github.com okay so let's open the github.com and you need to go to your profile and in here in this settings you need to go and in this settings you will be able to see that here option ssh and gpg keys so let's click on this ssh and here you will be able to see that no ssh keys has been added here so now let's try to add a new ssh key so if i click on this new ssh key it will ask you to paste the key here so where we can get this key so here if you try to see the ssh key has been added c user sleela narsima right so let's go to the c drive and here you will be able to see the users and here you will be able, able to see leela narsima and here you will be able to see the ssh and here you will be able to see one private key and also one dot pub that is nothing but the public key let's open this public key in the notepad i am opening this public key in the notepad okay so now let's close this one all and i am closing this one all again and i am trying to open it again so let's open this one in the notepad okay i have opened it here let's copy this whole code okay and what we need to do let's close this one all and we need to go to the github and let's paste it here directly and now what you need to do so you can write something like desktop computer or anything so this is the place where you can add it and add the ssh key that's it so you have added the ssh key so you have established the connection between the desktop computer and the with the github account now if you want to see that ssh account is authenticated or not you can write using ssh space hyphen capital t so you can write git at the rate github.com and if you press enter it will ask you that so you can press s here and here permanently added so hi lila web dev you have successfully authenticated but github does not provide shell access so okay so now you have successfully authenticated so that means ssh has been successfully set up in your local computer so now you have an access to for the lila web dev uh, github account and your local computer so this is the way you can set up the ssh key pair in your local computer with the github hope you understood how to set up this ssh key so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you